Hello everybody, my name is Boy, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues where we get to lead our nation in the Fallout universe. So, I've done two videos of this of this mod before and they were quite successful so now I'm revisiting it. This time I won't be New Vegas or the Western Brotherhood I'll be a uh, vault city which is um, I, I can't remember which vault it is um, but it's a vault and they're very highly advanced okay let's read their brief history surrounded by seamless endless desert vault city is an oasis amongst the suffering wastes despite its beautiful appearance the city is a corrupt pit of ethnocentric elitism and narcissism Vault City is the most medically advanced faction in the wasteland, capable of cloning limbs and treating injuries that would be untreatable to others. This knowledge remains sealed behind their walls. The former inhabitants of Vault 8 stand at a precipice where they must decide the future of their city-state. Whether they continue to spread their name in infamy remains to be seen. <laughs> so we've got the courtyard which gives us minus 15% stability and minus 7.5% war support. We've got pre-war medical training us minus 20% chem research time and we're also a post-war utopia minus 3 research time we're intellectuals and led by first citizen Lynette so let's just crack right in on uh, just go on uh, just play on regular cuz uh, I'm a regular kind of guy can I actually oh my god I can well neat well Let's start. <laughs> Let's jump right in and we'll get to leading our nation. Our little city state. So we start with one unit. Security. Led by Nicholas Wallace. A three s three um, star general. Fantastic. Okay, let's start researching some stuff. Uh because we got the Colt 10 millimeter. Research uh, leather armor. Also research electronical mechanical engineering. And oh, look at this! We've got we start with a whole bunch of stuff already researched. Fantastic! This is gonna make it a lot easier. <laughs> hmm. What do we want to research? Uh, we don't read to knee search. We don't need to research naval stuff because we're not on the sea. Uh, uh, let's go for automated warfare because I can see ourselves using uh, robots and stuff. Robots are basically this first version of tanks. Robots, army. <laughs> well, is there actually one that has like tanks? Infantry and motorized army. Scorched Earth here, anti-armor tactics. Uh, army here. I mean, there's a bit for tanks and stuff over here. With conventional, we don't mechanized armor suit with machines to fight for us. Uh, robots to be better. Uh, oh God, I'm not sure. Uh, let's just go for robots. We gotta use robots. Nano machines. Uh, the all clear. The, there are innumerable pieces of misinformation about when Vault 8 opened. Well, here now, put that first. Ah, so we're Vault 8. Uh, let's just put you up here. Let's start building some factories. We'll start with three. How much? Uh, so, a hundred and twenty-five. Okay. Just start training two dudes. After that, we can exercise and hopefully get some military experience so that we can change around our divisions. <laughs> so, we've got Gecko, Courtyard, and Golconda. So what kind of people do we have next to us? We've got the Cyclops tribe. Uh, 
and Antelope Tribe, which appears to be ruled by the same person. We also have New Reno, uh, the Yakuza territory, and Pale Folk. Where is Eastport? Okay. Uh, there is a great deal of debate as to exactly when we first left Vault 8, but surely as the leader of Vault City, you have access to this information. I sure do. How long did our ancestors wait for the all clear? Ah. So if we go along, then we get more infrastructure. No, we get l less infrastructure the further we go along. Um, and less manpower. But we also get ten plus ten percent uh, production efficiency growth. I think I'm gonna go 70 years of the fall, 1000 manpower, and 3 infrastructure. Deal with criminals. Vault City, uh, Vault, Vault City. Uh. Vault City is a utopia unrivaled in the wasteland. Such a place undoubtedly attracts unfavorable people. So, what kind of uh, infrastructure do we have? Look at that, now we have 7 in Vault City. Fantastic. Not looking too fresh. Over in uh, Golconda over here. Not in Courtyard or Gecko either. But we'll deal with that when the need need uh, rise. Security Chief Wallace. The Brain. Festus. Festus. I've heard that name before. <laughs> when our ancestors emerged from their underground home and built our glorious city with their Gek, our s serving, surviving vestiges of man were drawn to its brilliance. Them came thieves, bruisers, drug dealers, and all sorts of riffraff. With crime on the rise, how did we ever survive? Can punish crime with uh, servitude to the citizenry. C citizenry. <laughs> Ten percent stability plus five percent war score. Uh, slaves. Uh, mandatory military service. Or the death penalty. I think I'm just gonna go with servitude to the citizenry. Ten percent stability. Plus five percent war score, or support, war support. <laughs> now we got secured armaments. The defense of Vault City is an important topic at every governmental meeting and amounts to a sizable portion of our budget. Well, of course it does. We're Vault City. We gotta defend ourselves from these tribes, like the Bone Dancers. I mean, they they're ruled by a skeleton. They're literally ruled by a skeleton named Cranium. This guy is gonna come and rip up our glorious republic. Can't let that happen. So we gotta defend ourselves. Antelope reservation. Damn hippies. <laughs> the defense of our utopia must never cease as we are a beacon of culture and technology. When Vault Security took stock on the content of their armories, what did they find? So either we're gonna get lasers, firearms, or uh, robots. Hmm. Robots would be nice to have. I'm kind of going with using robots. But lasers will also be good. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with uh, lasers. Look at that, we got two divisions. First, what's up guard and a Fushineer's guard. Well, get on the team, buddy boys. <laughs> Sir. So, maybe what we should do is, can I do that? Um, equipment. That instead of, if we just do that, and then instead change to this. So now we just use laser weapons instead of um, basic firearms. Okay, now we got the Gecko Uprising. The Gecko Uprising blindsided Vault City. For even as the ghouls marched in honor of their rights, an unknown threat emerged from underground, intent on enslaving all. When the dust settled, who controlled Vault City? Oh god. Do we even go for the brain? Security Chief Wallace, First Citizen Lynette, or Festus? Cover the store of what's 2,000 laser carbines in storage, 1,000 units of rules of Editor National Stockman. Fantastic! <laughs> That is gonna help us out big time. So look at this. 
in normal circumstance we would have waited. We would have, have to wait a couple of years. Like three years in, or in order to research that. Now we don't have to. Okay. Uh, after decades of discrimination and violence, the ghouls of Gecko finally had enough. They armed themselves and aimed to take our utopia. The villainous brain pulled the strings from the shadows, causing slight after slight between the two towns. Hugh Wallace suggested that they declare martial law, while First Citizen Lynette urges cool heads and diplomacy. Just as they come to the decision, brains, mutant mold rats emerge from the burrows under the courtyard. What happens next? We can either go for the brain, martial law that was declared, Diplomacy prevailed, or the ghouls took over. I think I'm gonna go for diplomacy prevailed. Another research slot. And let's research support equipment. Now we've got vault tech calling. Restore the council. The utopian city. Or security council. Uh, oh, Voltex. I'm gonna go for the Utopian City. Vault City is more than a place, it's an ID. Post where Utopian rising from the waste. We are above all around. We are above all those around us for reason. It is for these same reasons that so many flock to this place, desperate to give even a smidgen of its glorious technology we have at our disposal. Yeah, that's probably why people don't like us, because we're pretty snobby. It said that I had some kind of event before, but it seems to just have disappeared. Oh well. I'm sure it wasn't massively important to the survival of our village at all. No, it probably was like... Fix, uh... uh get clean water or something like that, or... Deal with a mutant invasion. Well, it was probably something... Uh, unimportant like that, yeah. Uh, a decent probably. meal in weeks. This guy has and have a, had a decent meal in weeks. You're in Vault City. Surely you could just eat like some nanotechnology food. Does that, does that exist? Nano machines. <laughs> uh, look at this. This I do not trust this chick. She looks s like she's. It's like the girl from the ring, grown up, and she became. A, a, a cyborg scientist. Don't trust her. She also became Asian. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. See, I don't know if I want to, like, attack anybody. I mean, I don't trust this guy. Ed Pugaloy. He's very pale. He seems to have some kind of a blade going through his head. Uh, I mean, I don't trust this guy either. I mean, this guy is leading two nations from the shadows, like the Illuminati here. Here we got uh, Christopher Wright. I mean, this g these guys are intellectuals. So that helps us, which is good. I mean, these guys, I don't trust them. This guy is look, he's gonna come over and weld us to the ground. I mean, I don't trust that. I don't trust it. Don't trust it. How can we get rid of this courtyard thing? Courtyard medical regulation? The future of the servants? <whistles> Renovate to downtown? And here is courtyard stuff. Automated security? Service for citizenship? Gem of the wasteland? He ah, here is integrate courtyard. So we might want to go down here. <laughs> Uh, restore the council, reinforce the old ways, that's what we want to do. Then, R&D, departments, population controls, and then we want to subsidize the civilian economy. We don't want to go like human breeding programs or mutant supremacy. Or uh, like courtyard crackdowns and stuff. I mean, we can't even do these guys, just the brain is not the leader. Or Wallace, or whatever his name is. <laughs> I don't know if this is very accurate, because it says here that everybody supports intellectuals. Even the brain supports us. And also Festus. 
Count Festus, isn't that the guy, the name of the guy from New Vegas, the robot in the Sunset Sarsaparilla factory? It is, isn't it? Howdy folks, it's good old Festus here. I mean, I, I don't trust that guy. I don't trust him one bit. I mean, you think he's like a nice guy, but then suddenly he's just gonna come and smack you real quick. He's like, he's like planning to take over the world. And uh, Festus, it's like the brain controls him. And uh, Festus is just like a decoy. <laughs> now what do we want to do? Two civilian workshops? The future of servants? Uh, courtyard medical regulations? Renovate downtown? I mean, this could be good to get some proper army experience. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the security council. <laughs> and now we can do some more research. Mechanical computing. So, decrease that research time even further. This is gonna be fantastic. Are there any wars? Two sun is justifying on Tierra. Oh, there are four wars. Troll Warren is about to get wiped out. Uh, the Desert Rangers have taken a surprising large amount of casualties against the Jackals. Uh, the, the Brotherhood seems to be on its last legs as well. And the White Legs seem to be winning a resounding victory over uh, the, the Painted Men. Look at this Troll Warren. And the Washington Brotherhood seem to be on their last legs. <laughs> yeah, because both of them are at war with... Uh, are, are fighting wars on two fronts. So if I was them, I would just pull back. And the Washington Brotherhood is getting slaughtered from the north. And here they've been encircled. It's not looking good for them. I can tell you that. Shame, because this is some juicy territory up here. Yeah, look at that. Troll Warren's annexed. The Marrow Drinkers and the Rip Breakers took over them. And soon... I mean, these guys should win. They're the Brotherhood, for God's sake. They've got power armor. They are weak. Anything here we can research anything good we can research seem to be let's research scrap motorcycles hood settlements in the hood yeah the brotherhood seems to be on their last legs they haven't lost a lot of men though they're just getting pushed back let's look at this they've lost a lot of territory you know, in here they're actually gained territory, but I don't know uh, if it's helping them that much. Oh, the white looks to go over painted men. It's not good for us. Caesar, what are you doing? Oh, he's gonna attack the hang dogs. Is funding their cap. We've got some new troops. Haven't had a decent meal in weeks. So let's just start exercising, so we can get some experience. Citizen 1. What's Citizen 1? Citizen minus 1. There you go. Leather armor. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what can we research here that old? really benefit us. Uh, we can research radio. Radio help us much. Oh no, we don't have any um, robots. Haven't had a decent meal in weeks. I haven't had a decent meal in weeks. There you go. 
everybody seems to be getting along fine in our nation. Okay, now we can uh, add a political advisor. Let's go for good old Dweller Ian. He's an, he's an avid industrialist. When is this going to be completed? The 10th of September. We've got a civilian economy, which I'd like to change to urban mobilization. We should do that as soon as possible. I can't go partial because I need to be at war. Which is a bit of a, a bit of bullshit. That can mean that I'm not gonna be able to go war economy, yeah. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. I hate when mods have nations and you can't go like war economy unless you're losing a war. Ugh. This is just annoying. Yeah, uh, now let's start the, let's go with the future of servants. Serious slavery agency as well. Romans are requesting workers' rights and reduced hours. So there you go. We got a bit of political experience. Now we can add some more infantry to these groups. There you go. Just mean that we're gonna need a lot more troops, and we're gonna be low on manpower. Might need to cancel that one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're not gonna be great on manpower. Even though we should just have manpower rolling out of our roll out of our, out of the wazoo. People just flock to Vault City. His legion declared war on the hang dogs. I'll tell you, the hang dogs are not very easy to. Um, take over because you gotta cross this huge river, then you gotta push pretty deep into their city. Gotta take over Dog City, which is uh, Denver. If you're not too familiar with the lore, it's called Dog City because there, I think there's a lot of dogs rolling out. And this is where, uh, if you speak to what's his name, Otto, or is his name Theo? Someone in the fort in Fault New Vegas, you can actually learn that weeks. Denver has very good dogs, and that's where uh, the the main the main the main majority of the legion gets its its uh, war dogs from, which is pretty interesting. Now, is there anything I can do while we wait for the future of the servants? There's a, there's an ambulance outside. Well, not outside, but I can hear one in my city. I hope they're okay. Oh god, it's a bit scary when you hear like a police car or an ambulance, because you just think that someone could have just recently been badly injured or even died. It's just scary to think about that. It's like yesterday, Avicii passed away. And I was just, I just saw that you could see like, uh, yesterday he posted this tweet and now he's dead. Like it's a bit scary when you really think about it. Ugh. Sad as well. It was only 28. <sighs> hmm. God. So our... Worse, war support is actually going up now because of world tension. Don't really know how you increase war support. It's just like by passing laws and stuff. It says, enacting many laws and praying your nation for going to war effectively requires high support. Was, uh, hmm. Okay, we we scrap motorcycles. Now let's research scrap truck. Eventually want to start having tanks, but that's going to take a while. Now let's see what we can do about our servants. I kind of just want to develop Old City before I start expanding. 
what kind of research oh we got a lot of resources every nation kind of has a lot of resources in this which I like so there's more resources for us you start as a small nation you kind of had a, a lot of resources um, the servants within vault city let's see oh it's just this thing the servants within vault city have been abused for many decades now and some are saying that they've had enough of it there will always be replacements, but offering them rights now could instill a sense of loyalty that we have lacked to up to this time. It's not necessary, and men within the city viewed the notion of giving into the demands of something far below the vault city. Go servant rights, or servant regulation. I'm gonna go servant rights. You know, the servants, they deserve rights. They've worked hard for us for many decades. And now let's go quality of service. I'm just gonna go down service and choice. And then gonna go down here. Um, many of our true citizens have been complained about the steadily decreasing quality of servant work. Regulations and tests could be put in place to ensure that only the most skilled servants can get into the city. This would reduce the volume of our workforce, but many would say that it's worth to keep true citizens happy. I don't like this talk of true citizens and servants and uh, below us and stuff. Seems very. Uh, I don't like it. So, what happened? Oh, the Washington Brotherhood took over the. Oh, look at that! They seem to be making a comeback. Risen from the ax, from the from the ashes, like an evil phoenix. Well, I don't know actually. Seem to the f the front seems to be swaying. Kind of both ways here. Um. Assuming that good old white minic over here doesn't have long left. Hmm. What's Mr. House doing? He's fo focusing on the Ultralux. The old. Oh, we got Elijah. Elijah. Uh, yep. Like I thought. Uh, okay. Automated warfare is done. So we should as probably as soon as possible start uh, getting robots out. But I think <laughs> I should wait until I've gotten like at least Mr. Handys before I start um, building uh, robot divisions. We're building radio detection. We are just a technological powerhouse here. Just cranking out research. Hey there. Okay. There you go. The workforce we have been recruited decades has by has by by and large been desperate souls. Anyone willing to sign those papers and make that deal. Now however, we find ourselves overwhelmed with applications and in a unique position to demand only skilled laborers. Reduce the size of our workforce but we will make them Many women within Vault City are much happier. We got unskilled slavery, which gives stability minus 5%, but construction speed plus 10%. Or exactly construction. Yeah, I'm gonna go with skilled servants. Get the people even happier. Then service hours. We've been overworking our servants for decades now. Notably, our physical laborers who don't take, who do tasks far away from the city proper. Working as scavengers and resource gatherers. We as hard as we has allowed us to thrive but discontent among workers is running high do we reduce work hours well we'll see about that <laughs> okay now we can get early mobilization at least this will allow us to build quicker which will help us out tremendously and we've got less factories doing cons consumer goods there you go um. Just keep go human targeting firmware well much sturdier in combat than their human counterparts robots do not possess the innate ability to differentiate between friend and foe easily 
inclusion of the advanced targeting framework will make our robots even deadlier. Fantastic. Plus 5% breakthrough and plus 3 organization. Hey there. God, this is so cool. You can just play in the Fallout universe. But instead of just being on a guy on the ground, you get to control your whole empire. And take important decisions and stuff. Super cool. The Descent Rangers declared war on the Vipers. These guys are really going to town on. Uh, our servants are more than overworked. They are being worked to death. Expectancy at an all-time low. The opposite of what we asked, what they asked for when they applied for servitude. This abuse was once overlooked, but these days anyone can see at a glance that we're abusing the hopes and dreams of wastelanders. A simple change in policy reduced because there are many of these people. But then again, what's the opinion of a few wastelanders really worth? Working shifts or servant work? I mean, resource gain efficiency is not that important anyway. So, working shifts. <laughs> there you go. Now, because of that, our stability has increased by 15% and our war support has gone up by 7.5%. So now let's renovate the downtown. But actually, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed me playing Vault City uh, and this video, please make sure to comment, uh, like, and subscribe. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye.